Hey everyone, welcome back to 6.5 on the road from Vegas. Lisa Martin here with Dave Nicholson. We're covering Dell Technologies World 2024, or as they're calling it, the AI edition. We're excited to be talking with Dell, its ecosystem of partners on all the things they're doing to enable customers to not only be successful, but to really embrace AI for all of the amazing benefits it's already delivering. We've got Eric Bacious here with us, the CEO of Calray. Eric, great to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, very pleased. Share with the audience a little bit about Calray and its evolution to a data management platform from what I understand. Started as a semiconductor company, then you built a DPU, and now you're creating a data management platform. Tell us about that and why the evolution, the pivot. Sure, of course, it's not really the pivot actually because you, we are still, I mean, a, a semiconductor company, okay? So we design a new type of processor and which we call this type of processor DPU for the type of processor you need. And so we've been around for 15 years. So we are a spin-off of a well-known European lab. And the vision of this when we created the company was that the modern societies generate more and more data and you need to have new type of processor to be much more efficient to analyze this data. It happens you know very well GPUs, right? So GPUs are mass what we call massively parallel processors which can run a lot of calculation at the same time, but they do basically the same operation, okay? So what we invented with a DPU is same mechanism, but where each, what we call core, can run independently, okay? So why is it important? Because if you look at the data center, especially in the AI space, okay, there are workloads where you need to be very efficient to run the same operation, GPU, AI training, AI inference, okay? But also you need to feed these GPUs, right? And to do that, you need to manage packets. And packets are asynchronous. So packet GPUs are not very good at all to manipulate packets. So you need a new type of architecture. These are the GPUs. And that's where we are, we are very, very strong. Now, to come back on your question, so we are a semiconductor company. We design this GPU. And then uh, we realize that it's not so easy for our customer to adopt this GPU. So how do we make sure that we're going to leverage this DPU? It has been by, actually we acquired another company three years ago to be the complete platform, a complete solution. Okay, so this platform is called Enginia. Okay, it's what we call a data expression platform. And the goal of Enginia is really to help large enterprise having a lot of data to process their data as fast and as efficiently possible. Okay, and where does our DPU sit is that, so we, of course, provide our DPUs through acceleration cards. It's optional. So our customers, either they have a pure software solution, okay, can run on the cloud, can run on premise, but they can accelerate so to get much more performance thanks to our DPU. And we see that actually some of our competitors, they are going the, this direction too. So starting with a software solution, but you know, if you are pure software, it's very difficult to make a big difference. Okay, so that's one of the key differentiation we bring. We've got this software acceleration platform that you can accelerate with our DPUs. Can you, can you give an example of maybe walking through, think of it in terms of a customer journey, um, someone who maybe thinks that their environment is fine software only, so you come in and you deploy the software environment, right. only to find that, hey, we've taken a look at this, you could benefit from having DPU acceleration. What, what, are those, what do those workloads look like? What kinds of customers are those? To make it more concrete. Of course. I understand when you talk about packets and talk about parallelism versus doing a bunch of different things at the same time, but give us some concrete examples of uh, industries that typically- Very, I mean, I will give you a, a very, very I mean, a, a obvious example, which is AI today. So how does that work? So you've got a farm of GPUs, plenty of GPUs. Okay? Mm -hmm. These GPUs, of course, they need to run the calculation. And so that you need to feed these GPUs, okay? So on our side, so we've got our engineer, okay? And you can provide, and we provide unique performance with the software version of engineer. Why? Because we will use what we call GPU direct type of technology, you know, to directly make the GPU accessing to the data, to the NVMe data. But then if you want to go further, it happens that we have a partnership with Dell. And so we build what we call the NG boxes, which are NVMe boxes uh, for scale out storage, very fast storage mm -hmm. with their servers. And then these boxes, you can integrate our DPUs okay, to make the access to this uh, data much faster. And so our DPU can run the encryption, can make the, the cluster resilient. So basically uh, perform all the workloads that are super data intensive, also very energy uh, 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 and, uh, angry. 
And uh, so that's a way really to bring very I mean, uh, uh, concrete use case with all of our customers. A lot of them, they want to have a, a DPO version because it brings uh, uh, immediate value. Are you typically engaging customers sort of shoulder to shoulder uh, with Dell? Um, is there a lot of education that has to happen around the concept of the DPU? As you mentioned, there's a lot of XPUs around. People, of course, know CPU, and now you have TPU and so NPU. And you know, it's very simple. Uh, we, we usually don't talk about DPU, okay? For the exact reason that you said, I mean, people that are not so much educated, there are a lot of different type of processor. What is a DPU, what is a XPU, okay? So we talk about our platform, the tax version platform, and then when we go into the details, okay, how does it work? Then our customer will realize, okay, oh, I can take benefit of this new type of processor. Okay, I want it. Okay, but they don't really, I mean, care is it a DPU? You call it whatever you want, right? They want the performance, right? So we've got this product without, this product with. We can see the difference in terms of performance. Hey, I want this one. So nobody, nobody want, nobody wakes up in the morning thinking. I really want a DPU today. <laughs> no, but, no. But, but they might wake up thinking acceleration would be nice. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I, I would have to say not yet. Okay. Okay, not yet. Of course, now, I mean, 10 years ago, maybe nobody, I mean, or not so many people knew about GPU, right? right. Now everybody, I mean, uh, even if you, maybe you talk and uh, uh, during your Christmas party, uh, GPU, maybe everybody around the table may know, oh, yeah, GPU, Nvidia, of course, I know that, right? Uh, so now, but I think we are still in a kind of open bar a situation where, okay, I want the GPU, I don't care how much it costs, uh, we will see, you know, we had the, the beginning of the hype. But what we see little by little that, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, our customers, they, they realize that it's super expensive, once again, it's super power hungry. So now we see coming, okay, the, the eight where we need to optimize. How do we optimize? And that's where DPU are very, very interesting. And that expression platform, I mean, a software, how do you manage uh, faster, more efficiently your data? It's something which is getting hotter and hotter right now. So when you talk about how that you're presenting this to customers in a way that is digestible to them and it's what they want to hear. I want to talk about complexity or specifically how Calorie is addressing reducing that. We know that AI technologies require more data, Correct. much, much faster. So then the world of data management is inherently getting more complex. How is Calorie addressing that for your customers? So, so maybe let's start by talking about the pain points. Okay, what are the pain points so, of our customers? So, uh, as you know, I mean, AI now is a buzz. So, a lot of large enterprise or, or small enterprise, okay, we say, okay, I, I want now to run AI workloads. Okay, so what are the pain points? Uh, one of the first pain points, of course, uh, as we said, is about leveraging their GPU. Okay, uh, they are very expensive. Okay, so you need to feed them uh, in the most efficient way. Okay, so that's pain point number one. Okay. It happens that engineers, as I said to you, one of the key benefits is to boost dramatically uh, the performance of your overall store environment. Okay. That's why we call it a data acceleration platform. The point is not to replace your existing uh, infrastructure, but by adding our module to accelerate it. Okay. So the first one is performance. The second pain point is exactly what I said, is about legacy. Okay. Most of our customers have invested for years right, in their storage. We've got different type of storage. It can be a tier zero, tier one, it can be on-premise, it can be on the cloud, okay. So I don't want to, uh, to, to put in the trash all the investment. Some of our competitors actually, they, they've got a very easy answer. Hey guys, take what we sell, okay, and you rebuild everything. We don't believe that's a proper solution for our customer, okay. So the second pain point is how do we basically accelerate and, and transform their existing infrastructure into uh, an infrastructure which is relevant for AI workloads, okay? And uh, I believe it's pretty unique. I mean, our propos proposition, value proposition here is pretty unique. The third one actually, and uh, I think we will see that more and more, uh, it's pretty new in the mind of our customer is about enabling new AI application, okay? Because everybody want to, okay, I want to do AI. But actually, the reality is that except a few companies designing new models, okay? If you're OpenAI, okay, if you're Google, yes, you need GPU to, to create your model. Most of the enterprise, they will not create a new model, right? What are they gonna do? They're gonna use a model, maybe fine train a model, okay? Uh, uh, so what you want is to leverage tool, like a tablet, right? 
which will be much more than chatbot. It could be uh, creating a new video asset. Okay, it can be uh, just uh, uh, entering to your customer. Okay, so it will be a, a complete new ecosystem of AI powered tool that will appear on the market. And now the, the key pain point is how do you connect these AI powered tools with your data? Okay, and still control it. Okay, so that's where the data extraction platform. Okay, not only ease the, and speed up the, the infrastructure, uh, leverage the existing infrastructure, but enable the connection of AI-powered new services to your assets, which are your data. So I, I think it's interesting, often when you're sort of trying to understand a new company or a new acquaintance, you go to who their friends are. And you have a lot of really cool friends in, the, uh, in this industry. So Dell and Solidime recommended that we talk to you. And you take Dell, who's in the business of, yes, efficiency, openness. Um, Solid, I'm in the business of driving density, efficiency, power efficiency, uh, and, and, and all of these things pointed, pointed to you. Um, Calorie's not a ginormous company. No, we're not. <laughs> so you must be doing something right. Um, you're here at Dell Tech World. Tell us more about the kind of the, the partnership with Dell. How did that, how did it start? How did, how, did that, how did that relationship start? Well, I think it's back to what I said it's about pain points, right? And they, they were facing uh, the pain points of their customer, right? And it was exactly what I said. Okay, it was about performance. Uh, it was about uh, a lot of uh, complex. So very practical, very practical right. requirements. And I think right. Dell is a very practical company. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've they, noticed. <laughs> yeah. So they realized, okay, guys, I mean, uh, uh, we've got something which is very complementary to what you have. Yeah. Okay. And once again, this was also, I think, that uh, I mean, the basis of a of a strong partnership. Yeah, of course, you need to be complementary, not to compete. And I think Calare positioning is uh, is very complementary to Dell. Of course, Dell is a huge company having a, a huge, uh, uh, awesome portfolio, in terms of storage and so on. So I think we uh, and what they realize is that we 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 bring the additional uh, small pieces you know, uh, of a complete system that, that was missing, okay? And it was once again, how do you maybe improve a little bit the performance when it's about super intensive workloads, okay? Without changing your, your traditional type of storage you have. And then it's about, okay, how do I make this data much more, much easier to manipulate, okay? Uh, and so I think that's, uh, that's the reason why we've got this uh, very interesting partnership and uh, we're very, very proud to be here today, okay? And uh, very, very happy uh, with the uh, relationship we've got with Dell. We've got uh, many customers together, some of them, of course, now more and more in the AI space. Uh, it happens that one of them actually I mean, uh, has been a Dell Award, Geos uh, Technology, was doing a, a, an awesome use case, I mean, analyzing train and uh, uh, for safety reasons. So I think it's uh, Is that Duos? Yes, Duos, yes. I saw that. My dad worked in the rail industry. So really? any rail car story and voice of the customer, it's, amazing, it's like, right? oh it's my gosh. It's amazing. But what case. I saw there is that the, the number and metrics always jump out at me, that what Calorie, Calorie is helping Duos do is reduce rail car, ins, rail car inspection times by more than 100x. Right. That's a big it's a quite impact. big number, right? It's not one yes. or two times. Right? 100 one x for AI image-based processing. That's huge. Yeah. So that's what we can bring, right? By, by just manipulating the data in a different way, okay, by parallelizing everything, by boosting the performance with your hardware, you can really bring a huge value in this market. And that's what customers are expecting. Of course. Customers, regardless of industry, we have this expectation that as consumers or in our business lives, we can get, we can do any transaction Right now, we're going to have connectivity. It's going to be real time. It's going to be personalized, and it's going to be far more efficient than it was yesterday. With all, last question, Eric, for you, from my perspective, is with all the announcements that Dell has made in just the last, I don't know, 36 hours, with the AI edition of Dell Tech World, that five AI PCs, what they're doing with servers and storage and more, what do you see in, from a futures perspective with Calray Dell going forward, helping customers become AI ready and really start to be able to leverage that as a, as a powerhouse for their business? Yeah, I think really um, it's back to what I said previously. I think it's uh, uh, this small piece, uh, which basically in a way connect the dots. Uh, you know, there are a lot of initiatives uh, in Dell, okay, all very, very, very valuable. And now is uh, maybe I think the uh, the, the, 
the small you know, salt we add into the recipe is about uh, making this access to the data easier, but easier doesn't mean slower. No. Okay, so how do you keep being at the best performance, but by simplifying, automat automatizing, uh, basically the, the overall data pipe. Yeah, nobody wants less data slower. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Eric, it's been such a pleasure having you on My the program. Pleasure. Thank you for joining us, talking about what Calaray is doing, how you're enabling customers to really move the needle in big ways, the partnership with Dell and Celadime, and we can't wait to just see what's on the horizon for you guys. Thank you for sharing your insights. Thanks, you. Our pleasure. For our guests and for Dave Nicholson, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching 6.5 On the Road from Vegas. This is Dell Tech World 2024. Dave and I are going to be right back with our next guest, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>